Hi everyone, it's Jerry at Pale Moon Ranch. Um, got a quick little project here today. Um, I got my Abbott CNC here with an eight foot bed on it. And I'm having a little bit of trouble with my dust collection hose here. Um, when my gantry travels back and forth that full length of the bed, the hose gets kind of tangled up, wrapped around, all kinds of stuff. So it's been a bit of a headache. So. Um, I needed to create a way for this to be up out of the way and travel with the gantry. Um, I couldn't really find anything that I wanted to buy to, to do this. Um, um, some other solutions had uh, a pole that attached to the back of the table and came up and hung out over the top. Um, but on an eight foot bed, that's not quite as effective. It's really no different than what I did with stringing this uh, hose up on the ceiling, um, you still end up with uh, a good piece of hose here that gets kind of in the way. Um, so I came up with my own little solution here that I'm going to put. Um, uh, basically I'm going to create a swivel pole up here on the ceiling that will move with the gantry um, as it does. The hose will be attached and um, as the gantry pulls back, you know, pull the hose back with it and keep it out of my way. In theory. <laughs> so we're going to see how this works out. Um, the parts I've got here for this today, I've got a floor flange, galvanized floor flange, that I'm going to mount on the ceiling. And on that, I'm going to put this little nipple, three-quarter inch pipe, and that'll be attached on the ceiling like that. And then I've got uh, a one inch T that'll slide over that three quarter inch pipe, like that. Okay. And then a cap on the bottom to keep it on there. And then I have a, a reducer here from one inch to three quarter inch that goes in the side. I'm going to attach that on the ceiling, like that. And this pipe will thread in. nipple and this will swivel on this back and forth as the gantry moves hopefully okay so let's get started I'm get up there and get this core finish to get first This really should take um, uh, flathead screws, but uh, we're kind of remote out here and my hardware store didn't have exactly what I want, so I just went with a couple of hex head uh, screws, um, like lag screws, and they'll work just fine. Ton of weight, but that that pipe can have some leverage on it. The way it hangs out there, and it's going to be free floating. So this needs to be pretty secure. Um, unfortunately, unless I want to get up in the attic and do some work up there, all I've got is a two by four here to work with. So. I can only put two screws in it, but I think that's going to be plenty. Um, this isn't uh, too much. I'm just going to hand tighten these because I think that's all that's really necessary.
okay, I've got this all strapped up up there. Um, and I added in a zip tie here to take this vertical portion of the hose and uh, get it up here high. Um, that's to keep it from, if this isn't up here, I'm afraid to get wrapped around the, the, the riser here. Um, so, but I think that'll keep it from, from doing that. So, um, let's shoot it around here and see what it does. my pivoting dust collection boom for large format CNC. I think it's going to save me a lot of headaches. I hope you find it useful as well. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.